All right, afternoon guys. Want to give you an update. I put these rain barrels in, I think two months, three months ago. And hey, Lila. Hi. Okay. I put these in and uh, they're catching. They're catching. I've had to do a couple uh, changes to the lid design. I ended up just losing the whole plastic lid that came with. And I just bought some window screen. It's the nylon E, it's not metal. And since it is under trees, it's under lots of trees here, I do clean the screens off. I also have an aerator. I got an aerator in each barrel right here. This aquarium line coming to it. Keeping it from going, what I, I'm hoping it's not getting anaerobic in there. And uh, allowing good bacteria to grow now. Uh, because the water did start smelling. So that is part of the reason I ended up doing that. As you can see, the roof is dirty. And I've seen some people on YouTube and they say they spray their roof down before every rain in order to keep the debris out of the barrels. Um, I'm finding that the screens are doing all right. And for what I need the rain barrel for, you know, I don't really need the most pure water. I have a big Berkey if I want to run it through that and then drink it later on. But, I mean, the color of this water, you know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Probably if I'm sitting, when it's full, the screen will be underwater and any other debris on the screen can, can soak into the water. But, I mean, overall, I'm able to store 80 gallons back here and I'll come over to whatever I feel needs the water give it a quick little dousing I'm pretty happy with it and then one thing that you're gonna want to do I live in the winter an area where there's winter so I threw a little union on here, and uh, I can detach them in the winter, flip them upside over inside the shed so nothing freezes inside of them and cracks the bottom or anything like that. But, you know, real happy with it. At first I had this hose hooked up as like a, uh, a drip hose throughout the garden, and I realized I didn't like it. It got clogged up. I like this little short hose so I can fill up buckets and then I can water as needed so I know what's getting watered, how much and when. Um, really loving it though. I got these barrels off Craigslist, drove out to uh, Ravina, there's a gas station out there and uh, they sell them for 15, I think I paid 15 a piece, maybe even less, not bad and this is my overflow. Right now it's got a makeshift screen over it to keep the skeeters out. But yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. 80 gallons, 40, 40. Pretty nice. I do even have a screen over the top of the gutter up there. So it's getting screened once there and then it comes through. And I'll have to clean sediment off of these, but no biggie. It's all to be expected, I guess. Thank you for watching. Also, one thing to mention, I got a 12, it's probably a 12 by 10, maybe a 12 by 11 roof here. And on a good rainstorm, I mean, just a little rainstorm with no thunder, lightning, you fill them up halfway easy. If you get thunder and lightning, these things are gonna be full to the brim. A full 80 gallons I'm catching off this sometimes uh, it's amazing it's just amazing I haven't mastered it yet but I'm gonna get it down to if I know rains coming I'm gonna drain it water what I have to and conserve it through the droughts disperse it we'll see uh, stay tuned I'll let you guys know